hidey hidey Welcome to another episode of Harry's Cocktail Adventures. And I hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Um, this might be the uh, last one before summertime. We'll see how we go. Um, okay, today, as I said previously on a Facebook uh, post, we're going to do a, um, it's a... It's a Bloody Mary, but it's a Bloody Mary with tequila. And uh, it's called a Bloody Maria. Because... Maria being Mexico, I guess. Um, I'd also like to thank our uh, music for this, for this uh, session, which is through the world of Phase 4 Stereo. There it is. Uh, with a black cat. We've got a bit of a spooky thing because uh, of my story, rather. But um, yeah, Phase 4 Stereo. Okay, what's Phase 4 Stereo? I think Phase 4 Stereo is just stereo with four speakers. Okay. So it's pretty advanced in its day. So thank you, Phase 4, for providing that. Alright, let's get started with this cocktail. You need about 400 mils of tomato juice. But before we put the tomato juice in a shaker, which we've got there, uh, we've got to add some ice, of course. So as you know, this is the most dangerous part of the show. Tomato juice. Oh, here comes the uh, props man. So you probably don't need all of it for the shake. I can use like two thirds. In fact, you probably only need 300 mils of uh, tomato juice. Uh, make sure you have two generous shots of uh, tequila. Thanks, props man. Turning up. You might actually get paid this week. So one, two. Okay, now. Now we'll put that lid on that. Again, this is where things came down wrong. Got my favourite glass here, so I'll just put it in. There we go. Very good shape. That's what. If someone says to me what's cocktails about, I would say it's about getting, you know, mixing a few things up and just shaking, having a good time. You can even shake to the music. Okay, that's enough. So now, oh, I didn't think I was going to get the little. So now you can either strain that. Or just add the whole lot with the ice in it, which is what I usually do. I don't mind a bit of ice in there. And there it is. Have a look at that. That is a bloody Maria. Okay? Pretty simple. Not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay. So, now once you've done that, you can get a bit of Worcestershire sauce. Give it a good shape. Uh, Lee and Perrins is, is a traditional one that I use. Um, also, I can't advertise the tequila for sponsorship reasons. So you just put a little bit of this in. I can't I need to get the top off this. Oh there it is. So a couple of shots of this. Okay. Give it a stir. Stir while it's stirring stick. You can garnish it with all kinds of stuff if you want. But in Mexico I don't know what they do. I think they just they shoot a piece of the, the glass off with a gun. <sighs> Maria. Maria! <laughs> okay, let's get on with the story. So the story was, back in the 90s, again, I'm not sure when, 92, 93, I was in New Zealand. Um, I had a girlfriend and she was from New Zealand. So we went over, we'd been to the North Island, the South Island. But when you go down the bottom, I think it's pretty sure it's the North Island, there's a place called Dunedin and there's a castle there. And it's supposed to be haunted. Well, it's actually a mansion. Um, I'm going to put a picture of it here. Well. Like, now, just, I heard stories about this place. But just getting there, as, as you come up, 
for some reason, the guy, the guy who, I don't know, uh, uh, actually was Scottish, and uh, he built it out of like these giant stones. That's why it was sort of a Scottish mansion. But as you're driving up, we were driving up in the car, it was surrounded by this cloud. And the weirdest thing is, once you get there and you go up into the, when you walk around the place, it's clear. You look out and there's blue sunshine everywhere. But, but on the way there, it's in a fog. Can't explain that. Anyway, on this one particular night, we were staying in the stables at the back, right? Kerry and I were staying at the back. And um, it was getting towards midnight and uh, we heard that there was going to be a, a, a dress-up ball. These people were coming on a bus later on. And he's, this guy who looked like Vincent Price, I swear to God, he was spooky. He'd just come out of nowhere. He was like the, the guy that looked after the place. And he said, look, do you believe in ghosts? And I said, no. So I've just, I think Ghostbusters 2 or 3 had finished and, you know, I was drinking a bit and I thought, yeah, you know, ghosts, sure, what a load of baloney. I bet you I can't find one ghost. And he said, look, there's three or four ghosts in here. Be my guest to wander around and check it out. So, sure enough, it's about 11.30 at night, I go racing around, and um, sure enough, I go up these, when you get to Lamex Castle, there's the stairs that go up, and then there's more stairs and more stairs, and I'm going around into different rooms with a can of, I think I had VB or something, and um, no ghosts in here, no ghosts in there, no, can't see any ghosts, and my girlfriend and I, we, Kerry and I, we went up pretty much two thirds of the way. Well, when I get to the very top, suddenly this, I find this stone staircase that goes up to the, the very top of this, like, um, what would you call it? Like a, a mini tower. So I go up there and I'm on the roof. And I'm looking down and this bus has arrived for all those people for the, the, for the fancy ball. And they're pointing to me and they, and they must be going, it's the ghost, it's the ghost of Marnix Castle. Or one of them. So I start, I've got me BB and I'm waving, like I'm the ghost or something like that. All of a sudden, this gust of wind comes, and um, sure enough, this thing, watch the drinks, props man. Yeah, this thing comes right up sort of in the distance, and um, I don't know what it was, but it gave me chills. I thought, what the hell am I doing here? I'm right at the edge, I can fall off this bloody castle. I go racing back, but guess what? This is the amazing part. Kerry had turned off all the lights on these long bits of board all the way down the stairs. So I'm running and fearful of these, this thing, whatever it was, cold breezes and whatever, my mind was now going, shit, maybe there are ghosts, right? So I'm running and I trip and I fall down a whole flight of steps just about break my neck. VB goes flying, spurts everywhere. And then I go racing around, and it's virtually pitch black. Like, I am in a mass panic. And when you're just seeing little reflections off this and that, you're thinking, shit, they're out to get me. Um, uh, just quickly, one of the stories was that the guy, Lana Kuona, his son actually ran off with his wife, uh, had an affair with his wife, and Lana shot himself because he couldn't handle it. But it was a big scandal because he was, he was in Parliament. Something he was some politician, so so the wife's ghost, uh, sorry, Lamech's ghost was there, and there was, a, there was two or three other female ghosts. I don't know what the story was. A tree fell on one or something. So I'm thinking these ghosts are around, and I'm running down the stairs, and I've got to tell you, I got to the bottom, and um, I sort of stagger up to this door, I open it, and I look through, and there's all these people dancing uh, with these masks on, and you know, like a charade sort of thing. And, um, yeah, I spoke to a few people and embellished the story about, you know, did you see the ghost tonight from your bus? Yes, yes, we did. We saw the ghost. Oh, oh my God, it was fantastic. You know, they loved it. Um, so I had a bit of fun with that night. So that's it, Larnix Castle. To this day, there's still people on that bus talking about the ghost they saw, which was me. And if it wasn't me and it was a real ghost, well, I'm lucky to be alive. So that's a one up. Uh, we're going to have our little special guest come and visit. Okay. This, is, this is our little, our little friend we're looking after for a couple of days. This is Hannah. How old's Hannah? Hannah. Six or 
six, six, six months. Hannah's only six months old. She's a Dax hound. She's got a bit of a tail on her. And she's gorgeous and we love looking after her. So I'll just pass her back. Thanks for being on the show, Hannah. So that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, where's my drink off? There it is. Here's to Maria. Oh, she's... And I'll be having a bit of a break from this show. I might do some uh, whiskey cocktails getting towards the summertime, maybe late spring. So thank you for watching the series. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, what have I got to do now? I don't think I've anything. I've got nothing on the go. I'm just going to sleep because I've got work tonight. Okay, my other work. Alright, thanks. I've got to go. I hope you enjoyed the special story. And our, oh, I want to thank our props man and the props people for making that fabulous ghost. It was so scary. It scared me. Okay, bye.